Hey guys, so I wanted to just share with you guys me unboxing my new composter. Um, it's by, his name is Jack, so, but I'll link his Etsy name and he just makes wood composters. I was um, just trying to avoid buying more plastic, which was, I was seeing a lot of the co other composters were made out of plastic. So um, I'll unbox this for you guys. And then I do have a little bit of compost here and I got some worms um, from Jim's worm farm, I think in Pennsylvania. Um, so I've already kind of started uh, the process. Okay, so his Etsy name is Worm Farmer Goods. Um, just a little note here. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like. So I think this is the bottom tray. Okay, it's just hard to do with one hand. And just like a typical, uh, you know, tray that you get like for Thanksgiving and stuff. Um, I think this is going to be catching all of the the liquid at the bottom. I'm not sure if it's necessarily um, worm tea. There's some debate on that. Oh, okay. I guess this is not the bottom tray. It's just, um, it's a tiered system. So these composting worms will just um, travel upwards and leave the castings at the bottom. This is so exciting. Okay, I'll open that up in a second. I think that might be some like bedding. Okay. Okay, one moment. I need two hands. Okay, so this is the bottom tray. Um, everything feels really sturdy. Um, lots of reinforcements. That I could possibly stain this, um, but we'll see. Okay, so I think this is some bedding. That's perfect. So I think um, what he's done is used some, let's see, some cardboard and some unbleached paper, and he may have soaked it and dried it, um, but this is perfect. So I'm actually going to use this um, for the first layer um, just so that the worms aren't tempted to start going towards the bottom um, so let's see uh oh I just spilled it all over the balcony okay okay oh my gosh I love this okay and I might not be doing anything right so Forgive me. <laughs> and it might be too much, actually. No, it should be fine. Okay. What I've been composting before, um, I literally got the worms yesterday. This composter actually showed up two days early, so I was super happy about that. So I just had some damp paper towel, and I was trying to get them used to it, because I thought I thought the composter was going to be here on Sunday. Or I mean Monday. Um, but you can't see them right now, but there are some red wigglers in here there's some they're a little small right now because they just need to be like rejuvenated and um you know just get some more some more food in them and this is just some compost that i had i the bag is ripped on the bottom um because i don't i don't believe they can just totally rip through that bag so i just put a little hole in it i can see some worms falling out on the bottom some eggshells so I'm going to transfer um, a good amount of um, soil um, into here and then I'm going to put a tray on and then I'm going to put some food um, and some more um, bedding in the tray above. So I'm just going to use my hands because I want this to be super delicate and I don't want to just dump them in there. I'm just gonna put some of the bedding that I was using. It's not totally broken down, but I just don't want them to fall. 
through the grate just to avoid that. And then I'm going to use my hands um, to kind of dig them out here because I don't I don't want to be too rough with them because they're still um, getting used to being in a new environment. They were in a a parcel box for a couple days getting over here, so it's going to be super gentle. So now that I'm thinking about it, like if the worms aren't in the first tray, then I'm just going to get bedding at the bottom. So I am going to rearrange some things. So this first one that I made was not, it was just temporary, but it was like the bottom of a bucket that I had one of my cactuses in. Um, and you can see on the top here, I just have some hay because I need, um, I think it's a carbon source, just some, you know, either some hay, some dead leaves, um, but some of the bedding also has some, some carbon um, in it. So you want like a nitrogen and a carbon source. So this might be too much, um, so I think I'm going to put some of this hay on the first tray. So I'm going to dump some of these food scraps into one corner um, and then the next time I dump some in I'll dump them in a separate corner or an, another corner. So these bags are compostable, but yeah, I'm not sure if a worm can eat through it. And this might be a little too much food. Um, the way you can, sorry, you can't see my eyes. Um, the way you can figure that out is if um, it starts to smell. Um, these food scraps are a little old, so they already kind of stink just a little bit. Um, but we'll see how they do. I'll check back in about a week or so. He's trying to escape. Here's the lid. I'll keep him warm too. 
So I'm not going to use these two trays yet. And then um, once I find um, a spot that I want to keep this, I will put this aluminum tray on the bottom. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.